Hi, I'm Steve from JPS Electrical Services. In this video, we're going to change a pull cord light switch. But before we do, we're going to switch off all the power. So first thing to do is obviously remove the old um, pull cord light switch. As you can see, I've isolated the power so I know that this circuit is safe to work on. And this is a, a screw type, so I'm just going to unscrew that. Okay. In here we've got a, a red cable, a cable with a brown sleeve on it, that's indicating it's the switched live, and a cable here with green and yellow sleeve on, that's our earth cable. So I'm just going to disconnect those quickly. So there's my cable all disconnected. So now I'm going to remove the base from the ceiling. There's the old one removed. So the next thing to do is mount the new um, mounting base. Now you'll have a knockout in the base. Um, first of all though, before knocking any of these out, because we want to minimise the amount of holes we put into, into a ceiling and into a base, um, what we want to do is offer it up, because the most important thing is, because this is being pulled on all the time, it needs a secure fix into the ceiling, so ideally we're looking for a joist. Now, I know this one is secured into a joist, so I'm going to try and pick up the same holes, but I think I'm going to have to modify the ceiling very slightly. There we go, I can tell by how tough that is to screw those screws back in. That's definitely into the joist. So first thing we do is connect our earth cable into the earth terminal. Then we take our new pull cord switch. We've got a common terminal, we've got a L1 and an L2. We'll be looking to put our red cable into the common and our cable, which is a black cable with a brown sleeve on it, um, into L1. It's important to check the ends on these cables just to make sure they're not crushed. Sometimes when you um, re-terminate a a copper cable that's already been terminated, it will squash it um, and it can it can snap. Uh, we want to avoid that. I'm just going to snip these back and um, make sure we've got good copper to terminate onto. I'm happy with that. So like I said, we're going to go red cable into the common. You need to do these up tight enough, but not too tight that you snap the copper. And dress the cables in so there's no risk of them getting snagged. Let's go and turn the power back on. 
So that's the end of this week's video. Um, I hope you'll join me for the next one. But if you haven't already, um, subscribe to my channel, like the video and share away.